Hello everybody and welcome my little rhiny rhinos. How are you all doing today? Today we are planning on going to the moon and returning. Whether that's gonna work or not, we'll we'll uh, have to wait and see. But this is a rocket I've designed that hopefully will get me there. Now it's got a delta V of 7,015 meters per second. It's carrying all the scientific instruments that I have currently available. And it has an antenna. I've also got a little service bay inside. Uh, which is carrying some battery packs for me. In fact, I might add another. No, I'm just going to leave that like that. And it's got some solar panels to recharge the battery power as well. Got some tiny micro landing struts, which I'm not sure if they're going to hold up under landing on the surface. But we will wait and see. Um, I suppose it might be a good idea, actually, if we go back to the space center and see if there's any contracts that require us to go to the moon. Now, let me just see. Science data from space around the moon. We will definitely take that. Oh, we've got some um, contracts already. Fly by Minmus and explore Minmus. And we can also conduct observational surveys of the moon. Well, that's not important for me right now. What is important is I'm going to try and get to the moon and land. Um, next video, I guess, we'll be going to Minmus. So that could be exciting. Right, are you ready? Got my sass engaged. Jebediah is sitting there looking quite happy. And here's my rocket. Ideally, this rocket would have had some, um, what do you call it, space tape. The little struts that bond things together, but I don't actually have them unlocked right now. So we're flying as is. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we're not going to crash and burn. Now, we can actually do a scan here while we're here. So what I'm going to do is log that pressure data, and that is going to give me 8.4 science. So I might actually send that back while we're in flight here let's just right click that review and beam that back that'll make our instrument available again for use now back to, there we go science has been back that's what i like to see gaining science on every mission look at the speed of this thing i didn't know if this i didn't know if it would actually hold together i was thinking it would probably blow up as i take off simply because there's such loose connection it's just just got those little tiny radial decouplers holding three of these LV uh, FL T400 fuel tanks on so yeah anyway I've forgotten to turn right so here we go let's start doing our gravity burn slightly late but never mind as long as we can get into some sort of orbit we will be happy all right it's slightly difficult to control here let's see what our apoapsis is doing oh it's up to 70,000 meters already let's start burning horizontally and get into orbit because getting to the moon is a lot easier if you actually get into a horizontal if you get into an orbit of curving first of all all right ready those are finished with time to fire the engine now just to talk you through the rest of my rocket the whole thing that i intend to land is this top bit here with the little landing struts on then i'm going to do mystery goo experiments and um use my science junior and uh then i'm going to upon re-entry back to Kerbin, I'm going to jettison all that, so I need to make sure I send it all back to um, Kerbin for the good of my space program. Alright, now how high is our apoapsis here? It's getting to about 87,000 meters, so this isn't ideal, but what I'm going to do now is cut my engine and just set up a circular maneuver node, giving us a periapsis of 76,000 and an apoapsis of 89, that's perfect. So. Uh, we're going to reach the point where we want to do our burn in, well, the node in T. It's 1 minute 19, and I'm probably going to do it when it gets to about 33. That'll do. Perfect. All right, here we go. So, it feels like my rocket doesn't really have any control whatsoever. Slightly disconcerting. Um, the moon's quite easy to get to. I think generally you only need about 4,500 meters per second delta V. Changing velocity, Sean, <laughs> uh, in order to get to the moon. But um, as you can see, I've added extra, hopefully, for for a return from the moon. Otherwise, Jebediah is going to be stuck up here until we've researched enough stuff to uh, get him back, I guess. Although, if I get him stuck around Kerbin, I might be all right. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Okay, how are we doing here? We're doing pretty good, sir. Uh, I should have carried the uh, little module to tell me my... How much delta V I've got left. Never mind, too late now. All I had to do was attach it to the rocket. 
Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful maneuvering. All right, let's take a little look above Kerbin. There we are. Look, Jebediah looks quite happy. And we can do another atmospheric pressure scan while we're in space near Kerbin. It's kind of handy. Let me just rotate my rocket. Where is it? There he is. That will give us another... Move out of the way, X science. Another six science. Brilliant. And because of our solar panels, our electric charge is recharging. Brilliant. Okay. So there's the moon. I'm going to set that as my target. And I reckon when we're about around here at the periapsis, that's going to be a good point to start trying to make contact. And there it is. There it is. You can see we're going to make contact up there with a change in velocity of about 820. Brilliant. Time to move our thing over. Oh, God, it's difficult to maneuver. Eh, we need 20 more seconds. Well, once we get to tw the node in T where it says 20 seconds, that will be the time we're going to burn. So we're going to aim to do half of our burn um, before the estimated burn reaches zero and half of it afterwards. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. We're nearly there. Let's just have a little quick look above the surface and see what's going on. Oh, it's lovely and black. Beautiful. Just what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. So when this reaches 20 seconds, that's when we're going to do our maneuver. There we go. That'll do. So we can start burning towards our blue maneuver node here. And you will see us pushing the apoapsis out. So by burning prograde, we're pushing the apoapsis towards where the moon's going to be. So remember, the moon is always rotating or orbiting around Kerbin. And we're going to catch it as it moves around to where that little purple blob is there. How you doing, Jeb? I'm fine, Captain. You just keep us safe. Don't let me die up here and don't leave me stranded. All right, Jeb, I'll do my best, mate. I'll do my best. You know me. All right, there we go. We've been captured or will be captured by the moon's gravity. We're being informed by our ship computers that we're on our way. There you go. You can see the moon creeping around its orbit. And we are creeping ever closer to it. There we are. Sweet. So we've now been captured to it. So that's opened up a couple of science experiments we can do. Temperature scan and materials study. So let's go in and take a look at our rocket. Where's our little thermometer on here? There he is. So by logging the temperature, we're going to get eight science. I think I'll beam that back. And if I do a material study... Um... If I do a material study here, I'm going to get quite a lot of science, but then I won't be able to reset it, which is a bit annoying. But it will give us 17 and a half science. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we're going to use it. No problem. If we'd have been carrying um, a scientist on board, we could have reset that, but never mind. Okay, so now we're going to set up a maneuver node at the periapsis of our encounter with the moon. So drag my little reticle retrograde and you can see my periapsis creeping towards the surface of the moon there now actually what I'm gonna do I think is perform my burn a bit further back here so that I can land hopefully on the light side of the moon I'm gonna give this a go I'm not 100% confident it's gonna work but uh, where does that ever stop Reinstein all right, so we've got 35 minutes to wait until we get to our node in T, so we can overcome the majority of that just by fast-forwarding. There we go. 10 minutes, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we want to get to 5 seconds. There we go, that'll do. Lovely. Now we're just changing our velocity once more, slowing down to be grabbed into an orbit of the moon. There we go, we've run out of fuel in that stage of a rocket. Time to deploy this stage. I don't want to use up too much of this fuel, otherwise we're going to end up getting Jeb stuck up here. But we'll have to see how this goes. So now we're going to be flying towards the surface of the moon at a great rate of knots. So I want to slow that down. I think we've gone too fast, really. Never mind. Wow, that's a huge delta V change. We may not have enough delta V on this rocket left. Let's see what we can do. So we're obviously going to need to use fuel to get down here. And there you go. You can see what effect that's having on us. We're only 16,000 meters above the surface. That's quite nice. 
Now, when I deploy these landing legs, let me just click them so you can see, they don't actually go much lower than the bottom of my rocket here, so this could be a bumpy landing. Jeb's, uh, Jeb's terrified, I can tell. So am I, Jeb. And there's plenty of signs to be done while we're up here. So I think what I'm going to do is log some of these details while I'm here and try not to forget to stop thrusting. Okay, here we go. Right, that's good enough. Right, where are my little mystery goo containers? There they are. Click one of those. Nine science. Beautiful. Might as well beam that back right now. Actually, we'll beam back all of this data, because when we land, there'll be more data for us to collect and beam back. That will just save some time. There we are. Hopefully we've got enough electric charge to do all of these. I think we have. It's looking dodgy, though. Look how much liquid fuel we've got left. Come on, Jeb, you got this. Let's have a little look inside. Remove slot. That's not good. There we go. Interior overlay. Look at the tiny little cramp conditions he's experiencing. Poor old Jeb. All right, mate. We're going to slow down even more now. We are approaching the surface at really fast speed. Oh, God. I always rush this. <laughs> I'm a psycho like that. Now, if we had Kerbal Engineer Redux module on this rocket, we'd be able to tell how far above the surface we are. Looks like we're coming in too fast. Can we slow down enough? Oh, shizzle, manizzle. It looks like we just about did it. Holy crap. Oh, man. Look where we're landing, though. That is horrible. I'll tell you what we'll do. We might need to fly back up there. <laughs> Look at the control Jebediah has got over this rocket. The man's a brute. There we go. That looks a bit flatter. We might have a bit more luck there. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jeb. You got this. Let's just slow this rocket down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Burn off all horizontal velocity. And down we go. We don't want to be descending too quickly. We must remain in control of our rocket at all times. There we go. That is not ideal. Will the landing legs hold us? Oh, just about. Whoa, how much liquid fuel have we got left? Let's take a look. That was tough. 75 liquid fuel. I don't know if that's enough to get us back or not, but we'll give it a go. He hasn't even got a ladder so we can get out, but we can do an EVA. So uh, we'll do that. Get a little EVA report. 24 science he's bringing back with him. Oh, no, we will... Yeah, we'll keep hold of that. We'll go inside, do a little crew report. That will give us another... Move out of the way, X science. Another 20 science. What else have we got? We can log the pressure. 48, provided we bring that back with us. And another 32 from the thermometer. And I believe that is it. Alright, it looks like our rocket's about to tip over. So, let's get it back up into the atmosphere. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's all over the place. That's because I didn't turn on SAS. Never mind, we can do this. We can eyeball this. All right, you ready? We're going to turn right. Take off our landing legs. It wasn't perfect, but we had to escape while we could. I think I'm going to run out of fuel here, though. And Jeb's going to be left up here. But he can beam back the data, and we can always go and rescue him later at another time. So, let's see. Periapsis 14,000. Ooh. Liquid fuel is down to 50. I'm pretty sure you're not going to get out of this, Jeb. He's like, screw you, man, I'm coming home. Start burning right. Come on, Jeb. I can rescue you. I should have just sat you down on the moon, mate, and left you there. Oh, it's easier to rescue him from orbit, though, isn't it? Um, how high do I need to be in order to get him stable? We might have to abandon him, like I said. There we go. We'll do it at about 55,000 meters. Get him into a stable orbit. Requiring another change in velocity of 161 meters per second. We may be able to do this. All is not lost. Let's see. Okay, here we go. That gets us to there. So now he's... I guess he's in a stable orbit now. And let me zoom out. Ooh. Okay, so we're going around clockwise. And we need to change our velocity 
by another 174 in order to get captured around Kerbin. Okay, well, we'll do that and then we'll go from there. We've only got 15 Delta V left though. Uh, 15 uh, f liquid fuel left. Uh, hey, he's in orbit of Kerbin. Good job, Jeb. And we got 3.96 uh, liquid fuel left. Holy crap. That is nowhere near enough. Um, I might go to the periapsis then. Yeah, look, you can see how large a change in velocity we need. We've nowhere near got enough fuel for that. So I might leave him in that orbit then. Um, but before we leave him, I'll obviously just going to have to rescue him. But that's nah, not, not a problem. Before we leave him, we will gather some data if we can. So, ooh, that's not very good. I think we'll leave that. We'll ignore that. Um, so we'll send back the temperature. 16 science from there. 24 from the pressure scan. 24 from the EVA report above the moon's midland, midlands. And... 20 from the crew report. Yeah! That's pretty damn good. Well, Jeb, I'm um, sorry, mate. I didn't really think I was going to be leaving you in orbit. It just goes to show, I guess we need about 8,000 Delta V. Or a bit, m bit less, maybe to get back from the moon. But nonetheless, a successful mission. Um, and I will rescue Jeb at my leisure. <laughs> Let's go back to the space center and see how much science points we now have. 255. Wow, Jeb, you've done a great service for curbing kind. Thank you ever so much. Let's take a look if there's anything that will help us in a rescue mission here. We've got some giant kickback solid fuel boosters. Yeah, yeah, I think I might go for this actually. It takes 90 science. That will give us some fuel ducts and bigger fuel tank. We can go for some aerodynamics. That's not really going to help me. What's that? Landing struts. They would be a bit more stable when coming in to land on the moon, wouldn't they? An advanced flight control. I think we need a the inline stabilizer. Yeah, let's unlock that. All right, cool. So that about wraps things up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Let's just uh, go here and take one last look at Jebediah before I leave. There he is, circling around Kerbin. He's fine. He's got a few a few weeks' worth of food. Um, <clears throat> sure. Um, <laughs> that's about it. Take care, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like. And don't forget, my YouTube store is now open for any merchandise you might want. It's hosted by Spreadshirt. So the link is in the description. Go check it out. Take care. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.